How does that commercial say it? What's in your wallet? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it says wallet. What's in your technology cabinet? Hey folks, I'm Edward with Camping with the Campbells, and something I gotta share with you is, how do you watch TV on the road? I've been doing a lot of research on this, and I wanna share a couple of things with you. One of the best ways that I have found is sharing your image from your computer to a bigger screen, a large screen TV, so that you can share it that way. You can have the sound, get a sound bar, but there's a lot of different ways to do that. What's in your wallet? Oh wait, no. What's in your technology cabinet? Let me share with you what's in mine. So there's many different ways to watch TV. If you're at home, you have a cable, you have an antenna, there's a lot of different ways you watch TV that way. How we watch TV is there's three different ways. We watch TV that's the home cable. When we're out camping, and I'll show you some pictures here in just a second. Um, my most, my favorite way is with my Galaxy Book 2, my laptop. I plug an HDMI cable. It's HDMI on this end into the TV, and it's C on this end for my Galaxy S10, Galaxy s10 plus and then what that does is like with this one it screen mirrors the image over to the tv with the sound and also now i can't show you that on this tv because this tv is broke and it only shows the video through vga i my hdmi cables will not work on this tv um, or you can do it with HDMI like you would from a VCR, DVD player, a Roku. There's so many different ways. How I, But I've been trying to find a way to do it so that it costs less. Because when you're streaming TV, let's just say you're, you're here on your cell phone and you're watching a video. And you're watching a Hulu video and you're, you're like, oh yeah, that doesn't count for your data if you have an unlimited data plan. Well, if you use the, your cell phone as a hotspot, now you're, and you're using like Verizon or AT&T, you're now using hotspot data and Verizon and I think AT&T and the other normal pay for plans chart only give you like a data cap of 15 gigabytes. Once you're there, you're over. Well, I'm telling you, when you're streaming, streaming TV, it don't take long to reach that 15 gigabytes. And if you're streaming on the device, they give you up to 22 gigabytes, and then they will start throttling you. They will start. Not necessarily all the time does that work, but sometimes it works. Well, I've been researching it a lot and trying to find different ways. So like I said, you can plug your HDMI cable into your phone and then plug your HDMI to your TV and you can stream from your phone unlimited data if you have an unlimited data plan. That's all it takes. You take your phone, you plug it into your TV, and you can stream your Hulu, your Netflix, your YouTube, your whatever it else you play on. Um, and you should be able to stream it with no issues whatsoever. But the problem with that is, now comes is, all right, I've got my charging port filled with my HDMI cable and it's plugged into my TV, I, how long can my phone stream a TV show without running the battery down? I got another solution for that. That's where these kinds of devices come in handy, is this one is from Fallwitty. I just unplugged it. This one is from Fallwitty. It's a six-in-one. It does the USB ports 
the SD cards. You have to stop me from time to time because sometimes I get carried away with conversation. My mind just goes blue and it's like a mixer with where's the blueberry? Where's the blueberry? Anyway, here it goes. Easiest way to stream TV is plug your phone into a TV. Problem with that is the use of data. The next easiest way, and it's an expensive way, it's not a cheap way. You spend $1,100 and you buy you a laptop that's connected. This is a connected Verizon. It has its own cell signal. And this device has unlimited data. Now, where that unlimited data comes in, I still believe they say it's true unlimited. But at 22 gigs, they'll cap you. Here's one other. Then you, then you have to get a device that goes from C to HDMI. The cable on a laptop works great because you can take your power cable and plug it into one port and then your your HDMI cable to the other you can stream to the TV no problem or watch it on the laptop whichever way you choose um, where you have issues is like with this phone here you know some inexpensive phones don't have screen mirroring so maybe I can't do it well, I use my Galaxy S10 Plus to do my video recording. So anyway, this is, for your information, this is my visible phone where I have unlimited hotspot on this one for 40 bucks a month. A lot cheaper if you get to party pay. That's another video. Check out my visible video. It'll tell you about that. But back to what I'm trying to get sidetracked about again. There's a lot of different ways to watch TV. My favorite way is to run from the laptop to here uh, for TV because it's unlimited data. You could also do it on your cell phone, buying one of these devices. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple pictures of the devices I have. I, I said to myself, wait a minute, I've got the six in one that does the 383 USB, the HDMI and the uh, data card. But then I went and bought another one and I just messed this up that has HDMI, VGA, sound, USB, power input, and a Cat5. I messed it up. You wiggle it too much and it messes it up. And I think to myself, why do I need two? Well, because this one does the memory cards. I don't have a memory card. I don't have a memory card slot on my laptop. My, bis my big desktop I will be taking with me when I go into my RV and I'll show you guys a video about that when I put that together because I'm going to run my security system off my desktop and have it powered off 12 volt. That's going to be a good one. So anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures here in a minute of the different devices that I have. If you would like information on those devices, just leave me a comment in the comments and I will post a link to them from Amazon. I think I, I bought all these on Amazon. Um, I'm researching and learning. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.